Hello, hello, hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper. And on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, we are going over different types of equity accounts within QuickBooks Online. A recent viewer request came in from Marie Cynthia asking about the differences in equity within partnerships. But first, let's review what is business equity. Business equity is simply the book value of your business. It's a snapshot of the worth of the business. So let's say you have zero transactions and it's opening day of your business and you go to open a new business bank account with $100. Your business is currently worth $100. There's nothing on the P&L, just an equity contribution of $100 on the balance sheet. The thing that most affects the equity section of the balance sheet is the style of ownership. When setting up a QuickBooks Online profile, you must consider, is your business a partnership, a corporation? Are you a sole proprietor? To get started, you'll want to enter the chart of accounts by selecting the bookkeeping tab on the left-hand side toolbar. To create a new account, click the green New Account button. Under the account type, select Equity, and under the detail type drop-down shows all the available equity account types. Let's start first by selecting a capital account. This will track the capital within the business. If your business is a partnership like Marie's, Add a dash and then the partner's name, or the partner's name, say, Marie Smith Capital. You don't have to do it that way, that's just how I do it. It makes it much easier later down the road. This will also separate everything in order to keep better track of where each partner stands financially within the company. Something I've forgotten to mention in previous videos, since this is all second nature to me as a professional, is the bottom portion of this window. This is where you can account for any opening balances. You'll want to properly account for your initial investment into the company here. So some viewers have brought up the partner equity option, and this is the income remaining in the partnership for each partner as of the end of the prior year. The detail type isn't always as important as the account type and properly tracking the finances, but if you ever need a hint of what an account is used for, you can always view the detail window and that gives you a brief description of what each account is designed for. What's most important to remember is that in accounting, you always have to have a plus and a minus, an action to a reaction, a negative to a positive, or else your accounts will be out of balance. Everything needs to be tracked. Everything needs to be accounted for. Every dollar, every quarter, every penny coming in or out. So to reflect this in your chart of accounts, you'll need a contribution and distribution account. Let's start with contribution and title this shareholder contribution dash Murray. This will distinguish whose contributions these are. Keeping things separate like this will later be able to see each partner details on reports. Now let's do the same thing with distribution, making sure we create these accounts as sub accounts of the original Marie Smith's capital account. Now, anytime you invest into the company or draw from the company, the accounts are now set up and available. Keep in mind, these accounts are for owners who are not on payroll. If you are a working owner in a startup, you may not have the salary right away. On the other hand, if you are an investor in multiple companies or a silent partner and not a pivotal part of the company's day-to-day -day operations, then these equity accounts are for you. Equity accounts are always important for the balance sheet, but these are not payroll accounts. If you receive a regular draw, it's best to be set up on payroll. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. For even more behind-the-scenes content of Life as a Home Bookkeeper, 
Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dunn and connect with me on LinkedIn. And as always, if you need more assistance, personal financial coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.